नमस्ते जय शिवाय लेट्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मटीरियलिज्म एंड स्पिरिचुअलिटी वेयर वन एंड द अदर स्टार्ट और आर दे बोथ गोइंग आर दे बोथ द पैरल काइंड ऑफ अ पाथ हाउ कम दे आर वट्स द डिफरेंस एंड हाउ कम वन अचीव अ सक्सेस द अदर एंड अप इन डिजास्टर सो द थिंग इज दैट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सफरिंग ओके फर्स्ट वन इज लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आदि दैविक the sanskrit term for it is adi daivik adi daivik is something that has not been a suffering that is essentially has not been caused by you directly okay instead it has been caused by some natural disaster has happened a lot of people suffer uh, uh hurricane or cyclone lot of people suffer flood or fire happens in their life in their house or bush fire somewhere so some or the really bad storm and uh, there is flood everywhere so people suffer these things natural disasters so all kinds of natural disaster as well as a lot of people suffer the being possessed by some other spirit or some other bad thing bad stuff so spirit possession kind of stuff and uh, ghost stuff haunted houses some people consistently go to a house and they, they don't even know that it was haunted but there is a very special people those who will go and live there not everybody gets that kind of a house <laughs> even when they are looking for so you see these kind of things which are not directly caused by you which are in lot of things in lot of ways you can say that they are out of your control you don't control them natural disasters that are happening you have no control over them yet you may suffer them right so that kind of a suffering nobody wants that kind of a suffering so people try to live at safe places right build safe houses um they are careful and mindful about uh, fire here and there people have smoke alarms in the house so we are trying to save ourselves from if there is a bad weather or a storm warning people don't drive because they are trying to save themselves from the adi daivik kind of suffering and a lot of of effort is made you get you you buy your house insurance for what purpose same thing right you don't want your house to be uh, wrecked by hurricane or cyclone or you don't want your house to be on fire you don't want your house uh, stuff to be stolen so you take house insurance and you know if you are living in a flood area then there is a flood insurance if you are living in a bush fire area then there is a special fire insurance on top of that so you, why are you doing all these things flights are cancelled you don't travel and you stay at home when it's hail or storm or anything lightning or anything bad that is happening outside because we all want to save ourselves from adi daivik kind of dukhas adi daivik kind of suffering this is first level of suffering second kind of suffering is adi bhautik suffering adi bhautik suffering is the suffering of physical body but which has not caused by nature or some unforeseen forces instead has been caused to you by another conscious person another conscious being not just human being if a lion comes and eats you if a dog comes and bites you that's a adi bhautik suffering if a snake bites happen or if some fire ants bite you or a spider bites you or another human being hits you uh, tries to poke you or do something bad to you mm, even sleeping uh, sorry slapping or actually people those people some people 
rape and do dirty kind of things all that is considered as adi bhautik suffering nobody wants that kind of a suffering so if people try to save themselves from they don't get into the fights <clears throat> right nobody wants to visit the areas <clears throat> sorry areas where thugs are living goons are living nobody wants to take buy a house in such a area nobody wants to visit places like jail even to meet a relative somebody's i have seen people those who have the somebody from their house has gone to the prison they did something bad and they did some criminal act and they went to prison people from the house they stop going and meeting them why nobody wants to be around anything that even gives a little bit of idea or little bit of even hint about adi bhautik kind of a suffering you won't go and put your foot right where the snake's den is <laughs> or a lion's den is or where the fire ants are there you won't go and do such things where there are lots of spider you won't give your hand right there right you save yourself and you try to avoid physically getting into fight with somebody right you avoid such situations a lot of females lot of people when they are living in the foreign countries they usually don't go out when it's dark period they will if they go out then they will go out in a group instead of going alone what what are we trying to save ourselves from we are trying to save ourselves from adi bhautik kind of dukha adi bhautik kind of suffering nobody wants that kind of a suffering so that's the second kind of suffering that we all try to save ourselves from right third type of suffering is adhyatmik suffering now here nobody else is responsible you are giving that suffering to yourself how somebody said something to you you your ego took a hit and now you are churning it inside your brain over and over again over and over again you are thinking about it and you are suffering it it may be giving anger to you it may be giving sadness to you it may be giving some kind of other grief to you it may be then you will hold a grudge against that person and then you will hold dwesha against that person in some form you may become so angry that you will start raging into anger or somebody somebody said something to you and you became fearful so all the negative emotions that you are the way you are reacting to the situations around you to the people around you regardless of what they have done what they have said and what they are doing to you what you are creating within you is 100% your responsibility and that is called as adhyatmik dukha a lot of people these days there nobody is poking them from outside there is no haunted house ghosts even don't have a place to live these days <laughs> spirits are all gone <laughs> they are not easy to find these days the spirits the places like that where the spirits would convene for something good or bad it depends right so world is just full of all human beings and adhyatmik dukha um, is the only dukha which they are suffering most of the human beings are only suffering adhyatmik dukha, dukha. the the houses have been the fire the flood and all these things have been prevented in all most of the areas in the world in a bigger way and uh, hurricanes cyclones there are enough weather forecast enough warning time and stuff and if you are sane you know you will stay home so you can save for a lot of people have never seen flood in their life a lot of people have never seen hurricane in their life a lot of people have never seen bush fires or the forest fires in their life right they may have seen it on the tv in the movies but they have na- actually never have been evacuated from those areas in the life so the world all these things the adhyatmik dukha the adi bhautik dukha and adi daivik dukha all those these two types of dukhas have been taken care of from a lot the law enforcement is very good and uh, especially in the western countries law, law enforcement is good enough that not everybody gets hit by a thug or a goon or a local bad person or any criminal or anything so 
it's not that that big of a problem major problem is people suffering their own emotions people giving themselves some suffering so now forget about spiritual people separately and let's just think of everybody as a human being right so all human beings are trying to remove trying to prevent themselves from these three types of sufferings isn't it and when those who are trying to remove that suffering at adhyatmic level we all know that how can you remove adi adi daivik suffering that you listen to weather forecast and you stay mindfully you are mindful of fire making fires outside and in your backyard in the forest you are mindful about that and how to save yourself from flood and if this happens that happens you very well know how to keep emergency kit and save yourself from that haunted houses and these kind of places yes you have no control over that and once you get into that that's a different story but you do not want that to happen so we all know basically what can be done even for the adi bhautik dukha there are medicines these days that if something you you cut your body you need a pencil and or you need some other antibiotic or some other disease it can be a lot largely things can be fixed surgeons can fix a lot of things surgeries can fix a lot of things in you so adi bhautik dukha is also fine medicines work modern medicine is helpful and then if not then you have ayurveda and other medicines that you can take and they'll fix you so adi bhautik has been taken care of but when it comes to adhyatmik dukha people try to think that when the ego gets a hit when emotions start raging in people what do they want basically they try to remove it and how will they remove it what comes to their mind is only if i had that much money i will not i won't have i wouldn't have faced this situation only if i had power and authority i wouldn't have faced that situation only if i had more respect in the community or more authority in this um, business or in this office or in this corporate world i would have fixed this thing when you get over that power money sex sleep food when all these are covered then the adhyatmik dukha is oh only if i loved somebody and somebody else loved me back and the same person loved me back so you see at removing adhyatmik dukha is going into these kind of levels so then life becomes all about love finding partner dating and trying to find a life partner because they will remove that kind of a dukha in you right you're trying to save yourself from that kind of a dukha and even when they find the partner after 2 years if they marry or do whatever after 2 years they are back to zero again back to square one again and then they start thinking oh she or he doesn't love me anymore it's all about kids it's all about house it's all about family it's always about something else than me we don't have love anymore then they start seeking again they are seeking love but they start seeking outside marriage outside relationship or some other partner or some other thing if they even that doesn't work then people go for drugs go for uh, alcohol or some other kind of nonsense crazy thing what are they looking for does it ever ends where does it ends even if you find the most loving partner in the world the moment you convert it into a relationship it's gone it turns bad it turns sour and if even if it doesn't then there is an everyday emotional story right i won't eat without you why have you eaten without me why where did you go why didn't you call me you didn't even wish me birthday you forgot that today was our anniversary this and that and the story goes on only these three three dukhas everybody is trying to remove a difference this is and in the ways that people are trying to remove these three dukhas when it's the way the way i explained to you right now 
is that it's the materialism way material way that you look for power money sex food sleep initially to remove all your dukhas you look for authority you look for respect you want to command you, your ego should be satisfied and then you look for money more money more money more money more houses more cars more resources then you look for better sex from this person from that person from this way and that way and then finally you look for you want good food you want to eat 10 dishes you don't even know your intestines are crying your stomach is crying when you eat that many dishes you are you, you are confusing your physical body but no because your ego feels rich when you do that right when you are drinking a really nice water very very pure water from some fountain that the bottle says then you feel rich about it so you try to get all these things initially sleep when you are able to sleep on the very costly mattress and a bed it feels wow now i'm rich so ego feels satisfied how however but you are able to sleep on that or whether you sleep in sleep on it using the sleeping pills that's a different story but this is how far the story goes and once this is over then it becomes love story when love is over and then the marriage happens and kids happen love story is over and then again there is still an emptiness within when all this is done all your worldly chase is over some day it will be over in some lifetime it will be over or uh, for a lot of people it's not going to be over in this lifetime it may be next it may be next it may be next thousand years later doesn't matter but some day you will understand that no matter what you do no matter whichever material path you took whether it was a path of being a solo person enjoying life freaking out going here going there having this partner for that many days and changing the par- partner by the moon or by the calendar all that is over or going via the very traditional route of okay marriage kids old age this and that some day you will realize that no matter what you did that void within that emptiness within that suffering adhyatmik suffering within never goes away no matter what you do it doesn't go away it doesn't leave you alone even your loving partner is with you living under one roof is still you are not able to feel him or her you are not able to see him or her because you are empty within their one mistake looks like something very big very big sin seen to you suddenly your love vanishes converts into insecurity or anger or rage or fear or fear of loss or something it converts into so when that material chase towards the day a person realizes that nothing can fill that emptiness with him nothing can fill that void with him that's the day person starts walking a spiritual journey journey of then that's when the big questions start arising in you that's the start of spirituality when you start to know when you want to know real bad the reason for that void who even you are truly why this whole world was even created why anything came into existence why you came into existence these big questions comes only when your material chase comes to an end when you have a very good idea that nothing works this sansara this material chase this materialism does not work no matter how much money you have it's not going to give you peace no matter how much better bed you have how costly bed you have it's not going to give you sleep no matter how much good the food you have if your doctor has said just eat live on fruits or don't eat this and don't eat that you are living on medicines it does not matter no matter how much costly or palace kind of a house you may have you may be living in that house as if a patient lives inside the hospital so it does not matter 
the cost of your house, the anything, nothing matters, nothing in the matter. Till the time you think that no, only if I get this thing, I'll be happy. Only if I get that thing, then I'll be happy. Only if I find my love, I will be happy. Only if I find my loving partner, I'll be happy. Only if I could live with that loving partner, I would be happy. Someday this chase ends. Someday you realize it's the nonsense drama. But until that suffering has become so burning within, until that suffering becomes so acute in nature, that no matter what you do, you cannot calm down that suffering. That's when you walk your spiritual journey. So this is the difference between spiritual people are trying. Now the effort of spiritual people is same too. They are also trying to remove these three dukkhas. But they have the knowledge that these three dukkhas cannot be removed by achieving anything in the sansara. By achieving anything in this world. These three dukkhas cannot be removed. That's why they have taken that path. That's why they have become a yogi from a bhogi. All the people living in the sansara world, in the sansara in the world, living the life of materialism are called as bhogi. So from the bhogi, a person becomes a yogi because he realizes that these three dukkhas, these three sufferings, cannot be removed by achieving anything in the world. He'll lose time and he'll be back to square one. So this is the difference between materialism and spiritual. The goal is same for both kind of people. For bogies and yogis, the goal is same. They both are trying to remove three dukkhas. The difference is, yogi has realized that these cannot be removed by achieving anything in the world. That's the difference. And the one who is still a bogey hasn't realized it yet. In his mind, he still has some agenda, something to achieve that he thinks is going to make him happy. That he thinks will finally actually remove these three sufferings. So the bhogi is living on a mithya gyan. Mithya means opposite kind of a gyan, viparit kind of gyan, opposite wisdom. So bhogi is living with opposite kind of a wisdom that only by achieving this I will remove, I'll be able to remove my suffering. By achieving that I, I may be able to remove my suffering. By doing this, by doing that I'll remove my suffering. So that kind of jnana a bhogi has. Opposite kind of wisdom is what keeps the bhogi running on the path of materialism. While in yogi, at least that much jnana has happened where he knows that by doing anything, everything, those three sufferings cannot be removed through materialism. So that's how a bhogi and yogi are different. But the goal is same. One, But the dif major difference is of the jnana, the buddhi, the wisdom. One has an opposite one, another one has the right one. Now he is on the path of truly removing his suffering. The, and not whether he has anything after that or not, or whether he achieves anything in the world or, or not, these three dukkhas will not bother him ever again. He will not suffer these three. Or any dukkha for that matter, because no matter which dukkha you say, it, will, it can be divided into one of these three categories, right? So I hope you understand the meaning of these three and you see which path you are walking and if there are still agendas in your head that, no, if I achieve this, I'll be happy. <laughs> Namaste. Jai Shiva. Oh.